heard. This is just a fun way to help children hear the sounds that are in a word, okay? So I'm gonna give them a word. They're gonna stretch it. Sometimes we don't use anything at all, but sometimes we use a scrunchie or a rubber band. Maybe you can even use slime. I don't really do slime, <laughs> but um, I'll just show you how it goes now. All right, so the first word is going to be fan. fan. Say fan. fan. Okay, what's the first sound you hear in fan? Go ahead and stretch it. Fan. Ah. Good job. Fan. So you're going to put an F in the first sound. Okay, is that a, is that a get your scrunchies? And what's the next sound you hear in fan? Good. Write this down. Nice. That's nice and neat. Good job. Good. And then the last sound you hear fan. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I didn't want to give it away for you. Nice. After they write their sounds, then they go to the first line and write the word out. So go ahead and write fan nice and neatly. Mm -hmm. Yep, half goes to the skyline. Yep. No A. Mm -hmm. Now I just cut up my the paper that I love that I had like wrote about before. Um, the skyline grass line paper and just made it into two so we don't waste paper. What's the next letter, Nori? A. Um, no, you already have an A. Okay. Move over next to the A. Okay, that looks good, Nori. Ready for the next word? Yeah. Oh, what does it say? Thank you. Okay, what's the next word? Look at the second word. Okay, and then what's the third word? Black. Good. Good job. So they simply wrote, they stretched the word, wrote the sounds, then rewrote wrote the words as nicely as they could, and then I allowed them to draw a picture. So for the first one, they said, they drew, that's her fan. And then the second one is hot, so it's her fire and her sun. And then pop is, a, what is this? A, what's this? A water balloon? Oh, yeah, so. I hope this explains my method, the method to my madness. I look at her water balloons. If you need help, I'm always a DM away. Bye. Say bye. Bye.